What up, what up, what up, people? It's me. I'm back. L Teddy 27, Angry Teacher Chronicles, all that good stuff. And we're back for Love and Hip Hop New York, season 10, episode 5. All right. So, we start off. Um, did we start off? I don't know. My internet was in and out, y'all, which probably was a good thing because this was a very lackluster ep episode. But when my internet finally came on, I think it was still at the beginning. Uh, <laughs> just a mess. Just a mess. <laughs> Screw you, Spectrum. Screw you. Anyway, um, the Jenna Ski chick was in the studio with Rich Dollars. He was he had came through. They discussed uh, how the showcase went. Then they start to discuss her behavior. And the unprofessionalism with Fresher's wife and all of that, you know, ratchetness and ghetto ness. And he was like, listen, you need to, you got to clean it up. I normally don't, don't, you know, don't usually mess around with artists who have that much going on. But I see enough in you that I'm not just going to throw you to the curb like that. So, and she was like, you know what, I, I shouldn't have done it, you know, that's not what I'm about, I'm about my business, and that's not a good look for me, and so, he was like, you know, I'm not gonna give up on you, but you gotta do better, and you gotta, uh, and basically, he told her, I need you to make a decision, is you going with me, or is you going with Fresher? So, in one breath, she says, okay, I'm gonna rock with you, um, Rich, I'm good, we good, we in this together, this, that, and the third... In the next breath, Fresha walks in and then Fresha asks her, well, why every time I see you, I see Rich. Well, what is going to do? Is it going to be me and you? Are you just, are you, you ain't going to be with me no more? And then she tells Fresha, oh, well, I'm not going to stop rocking with you either. And you've been there for me for this long and I can't give up on him. Make up your mind. I mean, if you're serious about this budding career, don't you think you need to be more decisive on your decisions? Whatever. I I, I don't care enough. Um, I mean, she wants to comp continue doing business with Fresh and he ain't did nothing for her. It's just stupid. But whatever. Um... Sin, we then see Sin at home doing karaoke with Jonathan. Juju comes by. They discuss the whole Tahiri, Joe Button thing. And I, I just wasn't caring. I didn't care. We'll move on. So then we see Erica and Safari at home. And they start to discuss the Yandy situation and the Yandy invite. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is where Mona Scott at Young and her team of writers decided that it would be the time for us to get our patented hashtag FTFB moment. Our fall the fuck back moment was given here. So, in this week's episode, our hashtag FTFB moment came when they were discussing this and freaking Erica wanted Safari to magically be serious and be all, cause she was like, oh, you see I'm talking to you and you got this smirk on your face. Hello? I mean, the the viewers of Love and Hip Hop, Atlanta, Hollywood, and now New York seem to know your man better than you. Because everybody knows that's who he is. He's not serious about anything. I mean, it's so many examples of it. One of my favorite moments of him not giving a damn about and being serious about anything was in Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Remember when um when um Mama Pam and Lyrica G 
was fighting and throwing stuff at people and they was at the picnic and all of this uh, throwing back and forth the food and stuff going on and what you see Safari Crazy Butt doing still trying to eat and look at the fight at the same time just I mean it's who he he's not serious about anything nothing and she's all emotional she has all kinds of hormones pumping through her body because she's pregnant she's emotional and that's what happens but you sitting up here expect the safari to take this seriously and be all serious you're reaching i mean girl if you don't fall all the way to fuck back obviously see this is what happens when you meet somebody for two days and then the third day not y'all engaged Girl, this is what happens when both you and him want any, want anything you can do to try to have a moment to get y'all in the public eye and in people's mouths and in the blogosphere. You don't end up knowing the person who you call yourself being engaged with. Because any person who's been around Safari for any amount of time knows that he ain't going to take nothing seriously. Certainly not you and your little raggedy little feelings. Girl, get over yourself. Fall all the way the fuck back, Erica Mena. Take it back, hoe. Run it back, bitch. Girl, we don't care about you, okay? We don't. We don't. Girl, get over yourself. I mean, I mean, you really were reaching here. But whatever, honey. Whatever. That, ladies and gentlemen, was our hashtag FTFB moment of this episode. Moving on. Remy Ma and Pap, they talk. Some about Remy Ma wanting to go to Miami to record. Pap said, I can't go because I need to be recording my album. I got stuff to do with my album. Remy Ma said, I got stuff I need to do. And this back and forth. Who going to keep the baby? This back and forth. This and the third. Can y'all hire a nanny and get it over with? I mean... One, I mean, take one of them extra pop secret popcorn coupons that uh, Mona Scott is paying y'all and give it to, you know, a nanny or somebody that's going to take care of this child. Because I'm sick of this back and forth. Like, y'all act like y'all are the only people in the history of any profession to include the profession that you all are in to ever have children and have to take care of a child. Girl, you know, I don't want to hear this shit. Moving on. It's just a mess. Like they're the first ones ever to have a child and have to raise a child while they're working. <sighs> Whatever. Fresher and his wife. Fresher rolls up at his wife's house. The wife done kicked him out and told him he can't come. And at this point, I'm going to be honest. I need to see some receipts on whether or not they're actually married. Are they calling each other husband and wife and really not married? Because that's what it feels like to me. I Maybe I'm just looking too far into this, ladies and gentlemen. But I don't think that they're really married. Just saying. Just saying. So, um... He goes over there. She done kicked him out. He been standing at his grandma's house. He goes over there and tries to talk um, to her, this, that, and the third. She ain't trying to hear none of it. And what this leads me to believe is, is that it's been so much going on with him over the years that she's just like, listen, I'm not here for it. I'm not here for it this time. And she was like, mm, and I got the cameras on me too. And I can show my whole ass, the entirety of my asshole, my gluteus maximum, my rectum, and my anus. I can show the entirety of all of that. Baby, baby, baby shark, do, 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 do. You finna get all of it. And that's what was happening. She didn't want no parts of him. I mean, I mean, you just get the impression that, you know, for a long time, he has a long track record of being an ain't shit ass nigga. I mean, just... I'm just saying. So she tells him, no, when you get your mind right, you'll come back in the house. But as of right now, boo, it ain't happening. So she kicks him. Um, she tells him, going back where you came from. 
Then we see Safari goes um, to do this salsa dancing lesson because he says he wants to surprise Erica at the wedding and, you know, dance salsa with her or whatever. So here he comes so they can talk about um, this whole thing, how to fix whatever he got going on with Erica because of the Yandy invite or whatever. Whatever. She gives him some good advice, but I mean, it wasn't nothing that he couldn't have figured out on his own. I guess this is their way of trying to keep Tahiri relevant and on the show. I guess, whatever. Move it on. Sin is in the studio. And she was singing. And it was in one key. And, I mean, it was a bit pitchy for me. Um, Yeah, it's a no for me, dog. It's a no. In terms of her singing, like, you would just write up under the note a lot on that song. Just write up under the note. Like, the the song was in the key of, you know, of C. And you were in the key of, you know, of B. Or the song was in the key of D flat. And you were in the key of, you know, E. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm trying to make sense of it all. I mean, the key was F sharp and you in the key of F. Make it make sense. But girl, them pictures was not on for, for you tonight. It's a note for me, dog, with the vocals. Let it go on. And you said, and that was your way of showing us that you were serious about it. See, what you were supposed to do was, you were supposed to tell the people recording let me see what y'all gonna put on here and add it up because I need to make sure that if I'm unsheathing my vocal ability to the free world that I'm on point with my vocals and you are not. Whatever. Joe comes through. She confronts him about all the stuff she's been hearing about the Erica trying to get Tahiri back with him. Joe claims that it ain't nothing. She's like, oh, I hope it ain't. I, 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 I couldn't care. Whatever. Remy Ma is in studio. All I saw was something about she finally found somebody to babysit her child or to help her keep the child. And then conveniently my internet went out. Because I guess the internet gods said, nah, we don't want you to watch this. Get over it. So I ain't see it. By the time my internet came back, conveniently, we were at the part where Genesky was agreeing to sign with Rich Dollars. I don't know what happened between that period, right? There was a period of about five to six minutes. Y'all let me know in the comments what happened because I have no idea. No idea. And I'm not going back to go watch that travesty of an episode to try and find out that little part. Y'all can tell me in the comment section. I'm sure you will. I love y'all for that. Let's get down there in the comment section. Let me know what happened because I don't know. Then we see um, Safari. He done rented out this penthouse suite so that um, he could make it up to Erica Mena. Now, the whole time I was watching this, it was a lot of pedals there. And then candles conveniently placed all in between the petals. And I was afraid that it was like a fire hazard. Like, I was like, those petals are real close to those candles. Like, is this whole place going to catch on fire? I mean, the other thing that I was thinking about during this whole time was, y'all have this million dollar wedding two weeks away. Y'all got whole video shoots for the invites. Y'all got whole palaces that y'all written out for the wedding. All this, that, and the third. I can only imagine how much the wedding dress is going to cost. I can only imagine how much all of the, uh, you know, just everything. Where are you getting the money to be doing this? Like, you should be trying to save a penny any way you can. I shudder to think that um, Mona Me Productions... And the pop secret coupons that Mona Scott Young is paying y'all is going to be used 
to pay for whatever um, Safari got going on to make it up to Erica Mena. And I know they ain't paying for that wedding. So make me understand where you get all this money from. I mean, I guess the, the well, yeah, he does have that deal with um, the penis comp the company that did deal of his penis. And that's a lot of penis. So he's probably, I could see him making a lot of, a, pr a pretty penny off that dildo, yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of penis. Yeah, that's a lot of meat. So maybe that's where the money is coming from. I, but obviously he got money to spare. Y'all help me make it make sense, honey. Anyway. He gives her this big, I don't know how big it was, but this watch. It was in a big box. He gives her this watch. She ex and proposes to her again. She accepts his apology. This, then, the third. Um, now, she has maintained that she has no problem with the Andy coming. Her problem came because she didn't uh, um, he didn't tell her about the invite. So my question is, is Yandy going to be at the wedding? Or was she at the wedding? Wedding has already happened. I, yeah, the wedding has already happened from what I understand. So y'all let me know, was, was Yandy at the wedding? Because I really didn't follow it like that on social media. Was she at the wedding? Somebody let me know if Yandy was at the wedding or not. The last scene was really pointless and a waste of time. Erica, Sin, and Jonathan, they meet up to talk about the whole Tahiri Joe Button thing. It was pointless. The only good thing about this episode was I did not have to see Chrissy and her mole. This was a very lackluster episode. I I could have done without it. And that's all they gave us this week. That was it. I'm 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 in it. I'm in this thing as long as I can be, y'all. I'm doing the best I can to make it through. I'm not giving up on it yet, y'all. I'm trying so hard. Y'all see me. Y'all know what happened in Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. And I'm trying not to go back down that road. But Mona, y'all got to give me more than what y'all gave me this week. I wasn't feeling it. It's a no for me, dog. It's a no for me. Anyway. Um... That's all I got. I'll see y'all next week. Same place, same time. That's all we got. Thank y'all for coming. Y'all drive safely.